You know, first of all, we want to thank all of you for coming out to the 2022 Rooster Rodeo here at Marina Pez Vela. Basically, there's 19 teams entered. You released 57 rooster fish over 18 inches, and some of them up almost to 41 inches. Uh, good job there, and uh, I think the guys on the good day, uh, great, great fish tag research, they did put the satellite tag in a 40 inch rooster fish. I'm not sure where to begin. This was incredible for us. Um, we started a fish tagging program about six years ago and it was pretty much designed and built at the bar here at Runaway with some people that work here. Uh, several board members of our program work here. One of them's coming in late, Carter. I see him in the back. But uh, the Marine has been a big supporter throughout Central America. All the Marines support our program called Great Fish Tag Research. It's a nonprofit that we designed from Great Taxidermy, that's our parent company. And I was trying to do the math with Christian, our employee right here this morning. It's been 30 years since I've been fishing and working here in Costa Rica. And that's just been amazing. Today we took part in the, in the fishing, in the tournament with my local crew right here. And we had an awesome day. We managed to satellite tag a 40 inch rooster fish. Um, We've done this five years. Last year we couldn't because of all the restrictions in COVID. Uh, Marina Pesvela and the Ortiz family support our program. They paid for the tag. Ben Gilmore and Manuel took us fishing. And we really weren't here to fish the tournament or try to compete. We wanted to find a really big candidate. And we did. It was a bunch of crazy problems. The net broke. We lost a bigger one. And we just had all kinds of fun and got the tag placed. Our data is open access, you can see it, but originally we were told here that rooster fish are born and raised on that rock, they don't really migrate very far, and it's not really that exciting a fish. The first year we tagged one south of Capos, in three and a half weeks, the tag released north of Nicaragua, which was incredible. And, and you guys can see all the work we're doing online and check it out, but. It's our way of giving back. The marinas throughout Central America help us pay the bill. It's definitely a nonprofit because we lose money every year to do it, but we provide spaghetti tags for all the charter operators uh, throughout the world, Mexico, Costa Rica, but we're super fired up to be here and our team was amazing today. We, how many did we tag, eight? Now we tagged around 20. Us. You guys, yeah. We tagged a bunch of fish, we lost a bunch, but I think we caught seven or eight or nine and it was a great day. And, I appreciate all you guys putting the tags in the fish today because that's what we want to do, learn. And the data is open access so you can see it and the goal is to catch more. We don't want you to catch less or stop or conserve them. We want you to handle them right and let them go, but catch more. But I can't say enough about my all Costa Rican team and we only had lady anglers today and I think we did pretty good. Thank you.